Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the last episode, we arrived at the tomb of Nagasato with Master Uthar and Uthara Ban in order to reach the star map and prove ourselves worthy of becoming a Sith. It turns out, prove yourself worthy enough to become Master Uthar's direct disciple, his apprentice, as he had us square off against Uthura Ban, or so was his plan. We sided with Uthura against Master Uthar, and together we killed him. But then, Uthura had no intention of sharing her power with us, and decided to kill us as fight us as well. We defeated her pretty handily compared to Master Uthar, and then killed her afterwards, rather than sparing her life or letting her live. We have come back, we arrived back in Draste, and after fighting our way through the entire Sith Academy and eliminating just about everyone inside of it, the Sith Academy is now sealed, and is no, will no longer be able to be entered by us for the rest of the game. The Sith are probably busy trying to see who's going to come out on top after they survive whatever infighting is currently happening there. Off screen, I've done a bunch of inventory management, and I have a bunch of stuff we're going to be selling to Bree right here, as well as taking a look to see if he's selling anything we might be interested in purchasing. I also have the spice, and we're going to deliver that to the one gentleman uh, down the hallway here as well. So let's get the selling done. Oh, what sort of trouble's going on at the academy? Surprise he said that out loud. I wouldn't be mentioning that if the Sith are getting are having any trouble that it's good trouble. I wouldn't say that. Well, let me see your merchandise. Alright, so I'm here to sell a bunch of crap that I'm probably never ever going to use ever. So, let's sell Vibro's, Mission's Vibroblade, Zalbor's Bowcaster. They're much worse than the weapons they're currently using. We're not going to need the Carbine. Quarter's Old Blaster can go away as well. We might want the Demolition Sensors, we'll hold on them at the moment. I'm not going to be able to use the Ragnos Gauntlets, and even then I don't really need it. I don't care about these specializations. The Strength Gauntlets, we'll never need them. Don't need this, don't need that. We'll hold on to all the journals. Now that we have all of them, maybe the one Jedi on Tatooine will be interested in knowing what happened to all of them and their quest to kill all the uh, Tentarex. We don't care about single general stamina. We're going to sell all the raid plates and we're going to sell... A good many race bonds will go down to like uh, I think 50 all right and that's it oh no actually, that wasn't it I'm sorry I want to see what he sells oh wait hold on no I, I don't let me see his merchandise all right so we'll talk to him again about what he might have been talking I don't know Sorry, I wasn't expecting a different type of conversation than let me see your merchandise, so we'll have to go back and see what else he's saying. Uh, is he selling anything I might be interested in? Plasma grades are nice for 750 but I don't think we need... No, we won't buy them. Actually, let's buy just one. Let me. What sort of merchandise do you offer? What sort of connections? Hmm. All right, well, I'll talk to you later, uh, Bree. All right, sorry about that. I thought there was a quest being offered and I totally missed it, but no, it's just a more random conversation. All right, let's get the spice to this gentleman down here, and then we're going to Yavin in order to see what's for sale there. 
I guess we should take a better look at the Zerker Corp representative and see if he's selling anything I might be interested in. It's mostly helmets or headwear I'm interested in. You'll note as well that we are actually wearing Tulak Horde's mask. It doesn't really do much for us with stealth plus two, but it does reduce the damage we take from all fire by 10. It's restricted to dark side. And apparently Jun has done enough bad that he is also leaning towards the dark side. That's interesting. I didn't think, I thought we were more balanced than that upon leaving the Sith Embassy, but no, not at all. Yes, I do. I don't work for Davik, remember? I want more. I might be. Tell me more. Hmm. Where, where can I find this, Mata? Nikaba Dubaka! Patisa, Patisa! Kon Muli Slimo Poi Wanga Kun Viskin. Alright. I'll do it. Tong hit wama agi inkotune. Or tong hi wama ji agi inkotun. Tong pa no kun, no nek. Chi wi aita ka chong chicha. Ki muli ra kun kin. Chao baso. All right, he's dropped off a box. Candorous, Candorous, stop, Candorous, stop. Will you stop? All right, thank you. <laughs> I mean, holy crap, Candorous. I mean, I know we got you a really nice repeating blaster. We gave you great armor, and you have the impressive, evil-looking. Uh, biomass that makes you immune to being controlled by the force and makes you immune to poison, but please, please give me some space. <laughs> These drop off a box for us to deliver to Mata the Hut on Tatooine, and we'll be paid 2,000 credits upon successfully delivering it there. So, we'll do that, I guess, after, well, I guess we should do that now, since more money will come in handy when we get to Yavin. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's let's do that now, then. Actually, the first thing we should do is see... Once we get back to the Ebon Hawk, we'll check our quest log and see if any of our companions needs or wants to be talked to again. So let's do that first. All right, so... Candorous described the end of the Mandalorian Wars to you. He seemed to admire Revan greatly. Maybe you can ask about this later. Alright, let's see if he'll talk to us about it. Yeah, what do you want? Tell me more about the Mandalorian Wars. The war we had with the Republic was supposed to be the most glorious battle in our history. But it was a very costly one. I guess we didn't think of how much we could lose in it. There must not have been many of you left. There weren't many of us after that last battle. Mandalore himself was killed at the hands of the Jedi Revan. The best of us could not defeat him. After that last battle, those of us that survived were stripped of our weapons, our armor, and our basilisks. Revan's forces destroyed them while we were forced to watch. 
Those who hadn't fled earlier were left with nothing to call their own. No weapons, no armor, only the honor of having fought in the battle we just lost. For many, this was not enough. While the rest of us were sent into exile on the Outer Rim, they tried to relive the old days, raiding worlds. They're nothing more than bandits now. And you eventually came to Taris. Yeah, I came to Taris. And forcing for Davik was not stimulating. The gangs on Taris and Davik's rivals were trash. They give no thrill in battle, no honor or glory in defeating them. It was like stepping on bugs. I sought worthy challenges, but the best that Taris could offer were nothing to me. But I think now, with you, I may finally find opponents worth fighting. I am honored. Maybe later I'll tell you more about what it was like to work for Davik. For now, though, we should get on with our lives. Is there something else you want to know? No, I'm good. Take care, Candrus. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Okay. We get to talk with him yet again later on. You've asked Bachelor why the Jedi Consul sent the two of you, neither fully trained on this dangerous mission. Based on her answer, Bachelor either has blind faith in the Consul, or she simply prefers to avoid the question. So, let's see. Actually, yeah, let's... We'll do, we'll talk to companions in the order they're listed in the quest logs. So let's go and talk with her next. T3M4? T3M4 will never have any quests and does not really talk to us very much other than beeps and boops. I think he's the same robot you get in the MMO when you start out as a Jedi uh, guardian? Knight? I think it is the same one that you get. And he's a lot more talkative then. How can I help? Bachelor, you look like you have something to say. I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time, but I suppose I should just come out and say it. The truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not just for the sake of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am... I'm glad you're with us. Oh... I, I don't really want to do, do this to her. None of these are the answers. Uh, none of these are a wow, thank you, holy crap type of answer I want. So we'll go with uh, we'll go with the teasing. What was that? I, I think I'm going deaf. You 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 better say it again. You're teasing me. You know very well what I said. <laughs> I'm still really from the shock. Was that a compliment? Well, yes. Surely that's not so surprising. It's just that you sounded so pained saying it. Did I? I am trying to be sincere here. It occurred to me that I may have been too critical of you. Too demanding at times. Thank you. I appreciate the gesture. I know my manner can be a bit taciturn. I know you must be getting sick of my lectures about the dark side and, and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors, being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. I remember when I was younger, I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. It's ironic, really. Hmm. Maybe. But you don't need to be like that. I suppose not. But I am becoming like that. Though it's not easy for me to admit, being controlled has kept everyone around me at an arm's length. Even those like yourself, who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. Maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire you. I had to tell you how much I care for you. As a friend, of course. Of... of course. I'm glad you did. Well, I could flirt with her a little, but I'm not going to do that yet. She's being honest and forthcoming with us, and this must have taken a great deal of effort for her, so I'm not going to tease her more. Well, that was not nearly so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel... I feel much better. But enough soul-searching for now. We should probably continue on with our mission. Bachelor has apologized to you for her earlier attitude and has admitted how much she respects and admires you as a person and a Jedi. Whether this will change anything between you remains to be seen. Okay, so... 
like, I guess we'll talk with Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? Never mind. You got it. So there's nothing, I think, but again, everyone, I believe I mentioned it the last in the last video, because we have, because we're done with the Sith Ambassady, Ambassady, because, and because we're done with the Sith Academy, and because of the way we handled the end, the Sith Academy is closed, and thus we will not be able to finish Karth's quest line to the end. Does Zalbar have anything else to say? He does not. Right, HK-47, prior to the hut, it appears that HK-47 was owned by a Mandalorian soldier. This is the last of HK-47's retrieval memories, however, and it seems like the chain is still not complete. HK-47 had not had been on an assassination mission in Mandalorian space when he was damaged, but does not know who had originally sent him. Unless the stimuli to restore his deeper core is discovered, the details may never be known. Mission's brother. Griff rushed off to brew up a batch of the Teresian ale to deliver to his business connection. However, the credits he promised you hasn't materialized yet. He did say you could meet him later in the Zerka supply shop on Tatooine to collect the debt. I guess we'll, well, we're heading back to Tatooine to drop off that box, so we'll handle more of that there. Uh, handle more of that there. We will check in on that when while we're there. You have learned a lot about Juhani's past now. She was, in fact, raised on Terrace, the world which the Sith destroyed because of you and Bastila. Some of her bitterness may be explained now. If you ask her af if you ask after she mm. if you ask after she has calmed down a bit, she might tell you more. Well, I think she has calmed down. Yes. What is it? Is something wrong, Juhani? I am thinking of what happened on Korriban. I am appalled at the things the Sith did there. I cannot help but notice that your manner is increasingly like that of the Sith. I did what was necessary. But I do not believe it was. We should have been able to find another way. I should have helped you find another path. I should have tried harder to stop you. This is war. We don't have time for, this, for niceties. And I am sure. That is exactly the same justification that Malak and Revan used before they fell. I will prove stronger than them. Your overconfidence may yet be your downfall. I will still stand by your side, though. I can only hope that when the time comes, you will do what is right. Hope so too, Juhani. And I do appreciate her criticism, actually. All right, so uh, looks like until the big plot twist occurs, we're not going to get more with her. We know Mission won't say anything else. HK won't say anything else either. And Zalbar won't. Okay, so then let's go over to Tatooine. All right, so let's walk over here and click on the map. Yes, I'm saying that out loud. Why do I say such useless information? So what's going through my head right now, everyone, is I'm trying to remind myself, Tim, remember to put this in the special folder that you put all these in when you have to edit in cutscenes, because there'll be a few cutscenes I have to edit in. All right, so uh, I'll see you all over at Yavin. going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karath's vessel. My old mentor.
Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet and a hero to me until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. And I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carath doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. It's going to be mission if I can choose mission. Hey everyone, sorry I was muted earlier. Admiral Kareth is, will be watching the three of us very closely. One of the others is going to have to save us. Well, if we're going to pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're going to have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Mission can do it. No prison can hold her. Maybe I can goad the guards into making a mistake. If I get them mad enough, they might put me in a separate cell to punish me. With them focusing so much on you three, I might be able to sneak out of my cell and come rescue the rest of you. <laughs> It's a risk we have to take, Big Z. I can slice my way free of any security cell. Don't worry. I can pull this off. This could work. And it's not like we have much choice. I won't let you down. You'll see. Hold on. They're dragging us into the docking bridge. Nobody try anything and we'll vaporize your entire ship. These are the three we are supposed to watch out for, Commander, but there's more inside. Bring them all. Throw them in the prison. Lord Malik will want to speak with them. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karth warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a young Twi'lek in the back. She's got quite the mouth on her. She swore at me and spit on my uniform. She tried to bite me through my armor, and you should hear what she said about my mother. Admiral Carath needs to teach her the proper respect for the Sith. The Admiral doesn't have time to bother with some Twilight girl. Take her away to solitary confinement. I'll leave it up to you to teach her the proper respect for the Sith. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my homeworld. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. No, it was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Carath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. You're wasting your time, Saul. I'll never betray the Jedi. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. History? What are you talking about? You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. 
The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. What are you talking about? I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer questions, not ask them. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. Don't hurt her. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Alderaan. It's on Alderaan. Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well. This is the price of your resistance. <coughs> Enough. You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. You're lying. That isn't true. It doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. The fact remains that the Jedi on Dantooine have been eradicated, along with any hope of someone coming to rescue you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? We're searching for the Star Forge. Why? Why are you telling him this? You should be grateful, Bastila. He is sparing you agony beyond comprehension. Words that betray the Jedi Order bring me more pain than any torture ever could. Tell me, how did you find out about the Star Forge? Basha and I saw Revan and Malak searching for it in our dreams. No! How could you betray the Jedi like this? I find your willingness to cooperate pleasing, though it seems your answers are quite upsetting to Bastila. Not to worry. We are almost finished here. The information you have given me has been most useful, but I fear our session is over. Lord Malak will want to continue with this line of questioning himself. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. <laughs> Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Karath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. No one is without hope of redemption, Bastila. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taras, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? Maybe Admiral Karath is lying. I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Bendar, Sar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saw gets back. Where is Saul Karath now? 
Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. I only wish you'd been able to resist the Admiral's questioning. I hope the information you revealed does not bring the entire galaxy under the dominion of the Sith. Um, Saul already knew the answers to the questions he was asking. I've known Admiral Kareth a long time, and I think you're right. The interrogation was a sham. Saul was toying with us. He didn't care what we told him. I think it was just an excuse to torture us before Malak arrived. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force? The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we are here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Mission busts us out of here before he arrives. Come on, girlie. Into the cell. Let's go. I haven't got all day to waste on you. I need to get back to my post. Quit crowding me. Sheesh. If Mechamorians didn't smell as bad as you said. You think you're pretty funny, don't you? But you're only making things worse for yourself. How come every time you open your mouth to talk, the scent of rancor dung comes out? Maybe a little time in solitary confinement will teach you the proper respect for the Sith. Now get into that cell. Who designed those Sith uniforms anyway? A blind Rodian with a sick sense of humor? Oh, that's funny. You should tell that one to the torturer when he comes to deal with you. What? You're... you're going to torture me? No snappy comeback this time. The thought of torture scares you, hmm? Well, it should. The Sith have ways to inflict pain you can't even imagine. It may be a few hours before your torture begins. We're busy interrogating your friends right now. Hey, I know. You could use this time to think up witty ways to beg for mercy. <laughs> <laughs> or I could use the key card I lifted from your pocket to slice into the security panel and get myself out of this cell. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of cake. I wonder when people will stop underestimating me. Oh, I love her. Oh, Mission, you are amazing. We have no gear on us. Now, a heads up, everyone, that uh, when we find our gear, assuming we do, uh, I moved, when I did my inventory management, I actually forgot that I moved everything I didn't want to sell into the crates on our ship. That includes all the health packs and grenades I had. So, uh, I might be redoing a little bit of this off screen because I'm going to have to reload before we chose to go to Yavin <laughs> in order to get the health packs and grenades out of my, out of our crates. Oh, I feel really weird. I, I, there's no way I can do Mission's voice. Why does Sith capture you? Kuyami, Jusku Chitanai, Uchua Penki, Topa na Oto Vokasa, Yubabato Kanchi, Yatuka Ulan, Chaskronki to Patslimo, Chi Ita Kanki, Chana Kilikon, Kingba Muli Radwanaji, Kingba Noku Nixet Abog. What do you mean by rare goods? Nikaba Dubaka, Patisa, Patisa. Kon muli slimo poi wanga kun biskin. Chi ita kanki. You're a smuggler. Ichuta. Yun patisa. King banik chalora kun. Well, how can you help me? Smilia. Tinkuin koka. Pat chi wi aita ka chong chicha. Agi inko tune chula muli ra. Tangi wama jikona. How'd you get it in there? Smilia! Tinkuin koka! Patoga yak fuli kokala jiji! Say no more, I get the picture. Ki muli ra kun king. Tong hit wama ag i inko tune. What about the rest of your. Oh, okay, so he already told us about the rest of the crew. 
I'll see what I can do. I don't know if it matters, like, can we save all? I think we can save all of them. Gotcha. Sure, let mission. Uh, the, uh, she's not the strongest. <laughs> she has no armor or weapons. But uh, you want her to fight the guards. Sure. Oh, that's probably the crew. So we're not going to free them. We know that they're a bit insane. So mission can't stealth without a sound dampening field. This isn't Dungeons and Dragons, so she can't just vanish in front of them. Plan is oh ride equipment. All right, we definitely want that. Oh, we were seen. Okay, so mission, you're gonna get a a blaster pistol. Oh, okay, we're in combat, so we're not allowed to equip uh, anything else but the blaster pistol. Okay, but combat ended. I guess the guard's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> they, they don't pay me enough uh, to deal with this. Simple. We got Pazak cards, a short sword, a Pazak deck, a stealth field generator. That's what I'm mostly interested in. No one's going to see this mission. Okay, I think we will kill this guard if we're able to. Oh, that was a beautiful sniper shot mission. I think mission was the one I chose a decade ago when I last played this no game. This it makes the most sense for someone who has stealth to do this. I guess Juhani could have been another good choice. Starboard cell block key. Okay, we have the spike to interact with that. I guess we should try to kill them. So that's a technician. They're both technicians. So these aren't Sith warriors. Before we go in there, I want to check what's in the hallway here first. Okay, just a big empty hallway. No guards patrolling. Right, same as before. Yeah. Take that. Good job, mission. Yeah, fourteen credits. We, I think we, did we lose all our I think we lost all our credits, didn't we? Oh no, we didn't. All right, good. They, they let us keep those. That's good. Okay. So we can use the icebreaker here. Let's do that. You hook up the icebreaker to the terminal. After a few moments, you see activity on the screen. Access the security cameras to the barracks, the starboard side. Hmm. Switch 
to... Menu, there's five people there. In the cell block? That's where we came from, I think. Oh, we need more spikes for this. Oh, we oh we have 99 spikes. It uh okay. Uh We have, this must be because of what the icebreaker is doing for us here in the brig. Detention area? No one's there. Medical? No one's there either. Droid maintenance? So back to the cell block and starboard. I don't think I want to drop the forest fields because the insane Rodians will run around. They might fight enemies, but I'd, on the off chance they don't, I'm going to just leave them imprisoned in it. Access system commands. Upload the area schematics for four spikes. Open detention area. Access system commands. Return the root menu. Log out. No one's gonna see this mission. Okay, we can search the storage container. Maybe we'll get a few med packs from this. Computer spikes and parts. Okay. I will, is there a reason why you no wouldn't free the Rodian mission. from prison? I can't think of it. Okay, we don't want to go in the barracks, so we're going to whirl around and go in a different direction. While Mission might be able to actually kill all of them, I don't think sh that's going to be really tough. You know what just occurred to me? Maybe by not having by not having the grenades and or med packs with me. <coughs> it, that makes kind of more sense. The Sith would have taken them off of us if we had them in our inventory and they would have confiscated all of it and used it themselves. We never would have gotten any of the consumables back. So I'll pretend that we don't have them on purpose. We hid them to make sure that they wouldn't be found by the Sith because I think they're probably still with all the containers in our ship. And instead we we used like a secret compartments to hide them inside our ship and the Sith are still looking for them in there. There was a robot. Oh, I thought there was a robot in here, but there isn't one. Okay. You know I'm loving this, by the way, because I get to walk around in stealth. Med pack, battle simulant, antidote, adrenal strength, and a bunch of normal adrenaline uh, shots. I don't think Mission... Mission can't use these yet. She doesn't have the implant level. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a blaster rifle in this. Nothing. Okay. Remember, mission is specced in rifles, not blaster pistols. So she can indeed use a blaster pistol if she needs to. I think. Is that correct? It, it doesn't matter. We don't have a blaster rifle anyway for me to choose from. I don't think mission... Actually, I do need to check on her really quick. What is her... What is her... Uh... Repair. Oof. Two. So we're not going to get a droid to help us fight if it comes down to it. I think that's what that's supposed to be. Decommissioned droid. Droid upgrades. What does this say? Advanced flamethrower parts. Advanced stun ray. Decent plating, good motion sensors, upgrades for HK-47 and, and or T3. I doubt we're repairing this. No, we're, we're not even going to bother. We're going to stealth past these guys. No one's going to see this mission. I'm hoping the rest of our companions are in the detention area. And hopefully our gear is located somewhere nearby. Am 
might be in the ba- It wouldn't make sense why our gear would be in the barracks. I guess we'll take a- I- If our companion- other, If our other companions are here, we'll get them all outfitted. And maybe we'll- uh, We don't have a lot of health kits. Interesting a detention area. Equipment storage. Is this where our gear is located? Gotcha. Darn it. Impossible. Okay, we need a key for that then. Or we need a security spike. I don't think I don't think we have any security spikes on us. We do not. Security spikes, I think, can be used to get you through... Do well, the door might require a key. Gotcha. Darn it. Okay, we must have to use the detention terminal for this. Or one of the guards outside has a key. Unlock aft holding cells and equipment storage. Good job, Mission. I know you wouldn't let us down. When we get out of this, I'm gonna see that you get a medal from the Republic for everything you've done. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Let's get our equipment and blast our way to those bl bridge controls. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in, then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm going to find him on the Leviathan's bridge. I'm coming, too. That's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. Good. Get to that equipment room, grab what you need, and get going. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you. We still have to get our equipment. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Uh. Really? <laughs> All right, let's click on all the things we can click on then. Really? You couldn't just put all the equipment back in my inventory? You, could, you couldn't do that. Sorry, I'm clicking, all, I'm clicking on the purple just to get rid of it so it doesn't show up as purple any longer. You guys got all, all your gear. Oh, here's everyone else's gear. Okay, so let's get everything. Oh, we have to re-equip everything. All right, Talk Horde's mask goes on us. Our light exoskeleton. We take the dueling shield. We'll grab a normal Sith energy shield as well. Our advanced stabilizer gauntlets. We want the bio stabilizer. Actually, do we want that? Let's fall back to the retinal combat implant really quick. Karth is going to now get a... The biostabilizer implant. Actually, he also is immune to force because of nerve amplifier belt.
take my adrenaline amplifier. We get our lightsaber back. They left that there? Really? Was there anything else in this room? Okay, it doesn't look like it. And it looks like Bachelor and Karth are already outfitted with everything I had left on them. Yes? Okay. Uh, I think we should probably stop here, though, everyone. It feels like we're playing for close to an hour. So let's... I guess we'll ex quickly explore these other rooms. I don't even want to know what happened to this poor guy. Oh, he was just a prisoner, I, I suppose. And just died in his cell. Oh, this is the corpse of Kratos Yakarl, the Twilight who ran the droid shop on Dantooine. The Sith must have captured him during the attack on the Jedi Enclave, but then dumped him here to die from his injuries. Oh. Wow. I actually did think that it was a lie. I didn't realize Dantooine is in fact destroyed. That's sad. I'm here. I guess we'll level up Bachelor and Karth, and then we will call the session, everyone. So, we'll put this in Wisdom for you, Bastila. You get another power, so I guess we'll grab Master Valor. You leveled up again, okay. So we'll take Awareness and Treat Injury. You get yet another power. We'll grab Force Whirlwind with you now. And Karth... Injury awareness, and that's it for you. Really? No, no feats this turn? No, this turn, this level? Mm. What? Alright, let's still kill those Sith around the corner, assuming that they're still here. Damn carking guard duty. Could there be a damn thing in the galaxy that's more boring than sitting in a medical bay, making sure some med packs aren't stolen? I hear you. If I have to play one more round of Pazak to pass the time, I swear I'll give Admiral Kareth my resignation papers myself. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's interesting. I guess, was that the guards around the... Okay, so the guards who were stationed here are gone now. And they went into the medical bay. I don't care about Pazak. I think we'll just leave them there. And we'll stop here, everyone. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Where we will continue our escape of the Leviathan. I'll see you guys then.